If you've ever struggled with your chills hair routine and wish for a simpler and easier process, you're in the right place. This is the pre-wash hair routine I've used on Sunshine from when she was about 7 years old and it has allowed us to grow her hair close to waist length at over 5 feet tall. In today's video, we're focusing on how to properly prep your hair before shampooing with a targeted pre-wash routine. I'll walk you through everything from scalp care to the best techniques for minimizing tangles and reducing breakage. Let's dive in. When Sunshine was younger, she often scratched at her scalp because it felt itchy. To help with this, I started incorporating pre-shampoo scalp massages with hair and scalp oil, and it seemed to work because she scratched less. So, we made it a consistent part of our routine before every wash. By massaging the oil into her scalp, not only did we help soothe that persistent itch, but it also worked to loosen up any buildup like sebum, product residue, or even dead skin cells. This makes washing her hair much easier and more effective. There is debate on the benefits of scalp massages from a hair growth perspective. My thoughts are that scalp massages contribute towards general scalp health by helping to break up buildup, reducing itchiness, and offering a relaxing, stress-reducing experience. And since stress can contribute to hair loss, anything that helps you unwind could indirectly support healthier hair. The added oil not only protects her scalp with much needed relief, but it also adds slip and lubrication to her hair, making the takedown of her style so much easier and less likely to cause breakage. Quick tip. When taking down a style like twist or braids, always start at the tip and work your way up to the roots. If your style has a plaited base, take extra care while undoing the plaited part because sometimes individual strands get caught between sections and you don't want to accidentally break them. The lighting isn't the best in this clip, so we can't really see the sheen, but trust me, her hair felt amazing and looked great. What I do next is gently work through the areas between the plaits where I may have not reached with the oil and massage. Be careful as you place your fingers through the hair. You want to avoid causing unnecessary friction on the strands. Luckily, her hair was relatively loose, so it wasn't too difficult. If her twist out had more definition, I would have spent some time separating it out before moving forward. But since her hair was nicely separated, I just divided it into two big sections to prepare for shampooing. <laughs> Don't mind me here as I fiddle with her hair. I also opted not to do a full detangle at this stage because I would have detangled her hair one week prior and didn't foresee too many shed hairs getting in the way when I shampoo. Her hair being stretched and not defined would have also assisted in the shed hairs coming out easier without needing extra tools at this stage. We'll tackle the full detangle post shampoo. This pre-shampoo routine has been a key part of Sunshine's hair care journey, helping her maintain a healthy scalp and minimize breakage. If you're looking to simplify your wash day while supporting hair growth, this could be the step that you've been missing. Let me know in the comments if you'd like separate videos on how to properly separate twist out definition and how I shampoo her hair. Be sure to check out our upcoming video where we share the ultimate post wash routine for optimal growth retention with Kinky Coily. 